I rather reluctantly speak to a theme that I have dwelt with before. I do it in the spirit of the words of Alma, who said, This is my glory, that perhaps I may be an instrument in the hands of God to bring some soul to repentance. The sad fact is that the minority who call for greater liberalization, who peddle and devour pornography, who encourage and feed on licentious display, make their voices heard until those in our legislatures may come to believe that what they say represents the will of the majority. The producers and purveyors of smut are assiduously working a mine that yields them many millions of profit. Unfortunately, we live now in a sex-saturated society. Pornography comes at us from all sides, in the theater, in books and magazines, in newspaper advertising, in television in its various forms, and in some instances from radio. Merchants of pornography and some designers of entertainment are as clever as hell itself with their beguiling wares. You cannot afford in any degree to become involved with pornography, whatever its form. It is poison. Do not watch it or read it. It will destroy you if you do. It will cloud your minds with evil and destroy your capacity to appreciate the good and the beautiful. Pornography is one of the hallmarks of our time. Its producers grow rich on the gullibility of those who like to watch it. Suffice it to say that all who are involved become victims. Children are exploited and their lives are severely damaged. The minds of youth become warped with false concepts. Continued exposure leads to addiction that is almost impossible to break.